Good day, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'll be talking about the available Erasmus Mundus master's programs. Like we all know, these are programs that give you the opportunity to study in a lot of countries in Europe. That is, you have the opportunity to study in top institutions, and also you get paid for studying. So now, we all know that most of these programs, their deadlines are in, are in February. However, there are some programs that are new programs, that is, the, this is their first year of um, application intake. So you really want to take this opportunity, like they still have, most, some programs have extended their deadlines and new programs have like um, deadlines um, to the first of March. So you really want to take this opportunity. So without further ado, let me just show you guys some of these programs. Uh, though this list, I saw it on the internet and I feel like it, I should really bring it to your notice so, so as to be able to like apply to some of these programs. And like some, some of you probably you've received some rejection. You can apply to as many um, Erasmus program as you want. So there's no limit uh, to like, okay, maybe three programs, no. You can apply to as much programs as you want or as you feel like. So now without further ado, let's get started. And now the first year we have the goals, Erasmus programs, the coast hazard, that is the coastal hazard risk, climate change impact and adaptation. Also we have like the quantum, we have all these new programs. So these programs are really, really cool. So if you can be able to submit, First of all, the number of application intake will not be that much as compared to other programs in which they are already popular and people already know about them. So I think you really want to take advantage to these new programs. Try to check them one after the other and see if you can um, like apply or if you fulfill the requirement of this program. So in order for you to be able to check them because they are a bit difficult to navigate. So I think the first step you can do is to go to Google search for Erasmus catalog. So if you search for the Erasmus catalog, I think my team is a bit dark, but I think it's still visible anyway. So now you click on the first link. So when you click on the first link, you come here and you see the list of programs. So if you want to go to each of these websites, take for instance, if I want to go to Go's website, I'll copy the um, abbreviation, paste it here, paste. Then you click on search, search. Let's see. Now it is saying no results have been found. So in probably you check through this list and in your case, you are having this kind of issue. The next thing for you to do is to go to Google again. And this time type goals Erasmus Masters. Let's go there. Yeah, goals Erasmus Masters. Yeah. So I think they have their own separate website. Maybe they've not included them in the catalog. But anyway, you can click on this. Yeah, we are here. So you can now see, you can now see that we still have two. 25th of March till 4 p.m. of 25th of March for the application to, to be closed. So I think you if you have the opportunity to meet the requirement, make sure you check the requirement. Don't just submit to any uh, program. Make sure you um, check the requirement. And also it aligns with your future goals as well. So there's no point doing a program that you feel like, ah, I don't really like this program. Don't just think about the money or the stipend or stuff like that. Make sure these are programs that aligns with what you like. So now, okay, I think this is the first step. If at all you can't find your program in the Erasmus Mundus catalog, what you are going to do is to type the abbreviation and put Erasmus Mundus master's degree. So it's going to take you to the website. Another way, let's go back to the catalog. Maybe let's check this cost as a cost as a, all right. So we are going to paste it here, then search. Yeah, fortunately we are able to see it here so we can click this website. Then we are going to go here. So you have to check through, click on admission. Let's check the admission. 
you can check the deadline. So majorly the requirement or required document and what we already know. So your photocopies of diploma, transcripts, CV, motivation letter, rec letters, and also your proficiency test results. So I think that's that. I think let us check if um, the deadline. Yeah, you can see the deadline for these um, um, scholarship is on the 31st of March. So if you are aiming, if you are aiming for scholarship, so you must make sure you submit latest 31st of March. So now you can do that for other programs as well. Make sure you go through them. So this is really a very good opportunity because unlike last year, we don't really have all this type of program. Make sure you check this program and check the requirements. If you feel like you satisfy the requirement, make sure you apply, uh, like compile your documents, put the best foot forward. And also for your CV, make sure you check, make sure you check my profile and um, check my one of my video about how to create a CV. It is really, really informative. And some of my friends, the views did, and some of my colleagues as well. So make sure you check them. If you have any question pertaining to any of these uh, program, try to drop comments. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you are a first timer. And as well, make sure you put on your notification bell. So I think there will still be some videos that will be dropping probably tomorrow morning. So make sure you be on alert. So I think that will be all for me from now. for now. So see you guys very soon. Thank you.